Hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here and I have the first mouse case that I've actually ever reviewed on my channel here for my iPhone 13 Pro. Now this is the Limitless 4.0 case. Now I scooped this up on Amazon for around $50 with prime shipping. So if you are interested in purchasing this case after watching this video, then definitely follow my Amazon affiliate links down below. Now this is obviously, as you can tell, the bamboo style. I actually scooped up four different versions of this case and then another one from mouse as well. So I will be dropping a lot of mouse cases here pretty dang soon. But this one's gonna be the first domino to drop. And also, just throwing it out there guys, this is the first unboxing video that I am doing with my Sigma 30 lens. So let me know down in the comments if you like the look of this. Obviously my native just kit lens from Sony has a little bit of a quicker um, autofocus. So definitely a test run as well with this video. So let's go ahead and take a real quick peek at the actual case here. So with this bamboo case, it just looks really, really good. Um, in my experience with these cases so far over the last week or so, uh, I've really enjoyed these cases, but just by the look, obviously it looks really good. Now flipping it over, this is kind of where I really like this case. Now obviously you're gonna be spending a little bit of money, but I think it's worth the investment. So number one is, as you can see, you have MagSafe magnets built in. So it is MagSafe compatible with any car accessory and things like that, basically. Uh, inside of the case, you can see just kind of these uh, like teal, like extra cushiony things inside here. It's called AeroShock, if I'm pronouncing it right. But basically, it's just this really nice padded material inside here that is going up against the bumpers of your phone and help dissipate the energy away in a drop or something like that. Obviously, I'm sure you've seen all these mouse videos out there from mouse itself where they're throwing them from like zip lines and stuff like that. Now, I don't recommend going and doing that because I definitely won't, but obviously the technology is here. So it should definitely protect your investment if you drop it you know, out of your pocket or whatever. Those should be easy falls. So let's grab my Graphite 13 Pro here and slap it in. I usually start with the camera bump side, but the install on this has been actually pretty dang simple. So definitely a very easy install. And there it is once it is installed. So as you can see, like I said, this bamboo styling just looks really good in my opinion. Just looks really nice. Has the mouse branding there at the bottom. So definitely I think looks pretty good there. Very minimal. But something about just the black here that's like cut right there and then the black and then the white. I just think it looks really good. So let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the look of the back. Now looking at the actual camera bump here, it looks pretty good too. Like I said, I do like this black design here, but I also like that the lips do definitely raise up enough to protect those big lenses on the 13 Pro here. So you're definitely gonna have some confidence laying it back down on the actual surface that you might be setting it on. And like I said, I think it's going to do a good job protecting those lenses. Now on the side here, it's more of like a matte black material. You can kind of see like it's a little bit darker black and then it goes into like this little bit more of a faded black here. Um, but it does have a good feel and texture to it. I, I definitely like the sides. You know, they are a little smooth, but there is enough like grain kind of granular texture that that does at least make it feel a little bit better. You do have some cutouts there for a uh, lanyard if you are a fan of lanyards. And then there is your power button that is raised, as you can see there. And then moving to the bottom, we do have some very generous cutouts for the lightning port and the speakers. And then moving to the side here, then we do have um, basically just that same material. So we got that same material running across and you can see our Volume up and down buttons are nicely raised right there as well. And we do have a nice generous cut out there for the alert slider. And then at the top, obviously nothing. But in my videos, I like to do this kind of top down view so you can kind of get an idea of how big that uh, lip goes around the actual camera bump. Now moving to the front of the phone, we do definitely have some raised lips. That is something I will say about this phone case is that the raised lips on the screen are actually pretty dang nice. It's actually 
probably some of the most raised lips around a surface that I have dealt with on a phone case lately, um, but definitely feels pretty good in the hands. It just feels good when you're holding it right there. Um, so that way you can kind of, like I said, just feel like there's definitely some lens protection or excuse me, screen protection there. And then it is tempered glass friendly and there is kind of the look of the front of the case. Turn the screen on, whoops, there we go. So that's the look of it. So it looks pretty dang good. So now let's go ahead and do that wobble test. So let's go ahead and just put it face down first. There is no shake at all with the face down and then doing it back down a little bit if you hit it on that corner that is opposite of the camera bump but that is to be expected considering these lips are very nicely raised so it's not a big deal but it is something to think about if you do care about that so now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test if you know anything about my channel and if this is your first time stopping by my channel thanks for stopping by hope you subscribe but i love clicky buttons so i'm going to do the power button and the volume up and down button put it up next to my little mic here so let's do power button first and volume up and down okay so buttons are extremely clicky and tactile so they feel very good very responsive i'm a big fan of these buttons so last but not least, obviously it had MagSafe magnets built in. So let's get my MagSafe charger here, slap it on, and it does instantly recognize that it is on my MagSafe charger. The connection is pretty strong too, so it finds it pretty dang easily. Um, so there is no issues at all. It is extremely hard to shake off, and it will hold the phone as well. But if you give it a good tug, it will eventually fall off but that's kind of the norm with a lot of these cases. But I will say that the magnets are strong enough to use my MagSafe accessories in my vehicle. So I always let people know that because definitely if you are someone like me that likes a like MagSafe magnet charger that's wireless in your vehicle and you just want to slap it on and go, this will work. I've been through some bumpy roads and it survived just fine. But all in all, guys, with the bamboo style case, I really like it. The only downside to these types of cases is that the back is pretty smooth. It is not a fingerprint magnet, which is a plus, obviously. Um, no smudge issues or anything like that. So that's going to definitely help my OCD. But at the end of the day, the actual back is a little slippery, but it does have a little bit of texture with that wood back there. Um, but the sides feel very good as well. So all in all, I think it's a no-brainer case if you like mouse and you like this type of styling of a case. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content as I upload more phone case videos. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Music